Greetings everybody, yo, Carnival Games Online. Welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda. Ow! Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we went through the Spirit Temple as an adult. And in this episode, it's time to go through Ganon's Castle. Right here in the first ring, we have an Iron Knuckle. Why it's here, I don't know. This is not really an optimal place to be fighting an Iron Knuckle. Considering how cramped it is. Holy... Holy God. This is terrible. But, you know what? We'll tough it out. It's a bad area, but Iron Knuckle still fairly easy to beat. Just more annoying than anything. But the door doesn't open! Surprise, surprise. Alright. Well, I would be willing to bet those statues up there Yep, Armos. But they can't do anything to you because they're stuck up there. So... Good, good programming. Good placement of enemies. Alright, is that all or do we have to kill the bubble as well? Probably need to kill the bubble as well. Oh, hello, bubble. Die. Yep. Can't make things simple now, can we? Now, according to my guidebook, somewhere in here, though I looked earlier and I couldn't find it, maybe it's in the next room. Because we're back here, yay! But according to my guidebook, yes! Notice how there's a hidden pathway here. Leads to a bunch of business scrubs and a fairy fountain, essentially. I did not know about this. This is also apparently also in the original game. And I am kind of curious since this is the last dungeon. Oh. Does my mirror shield not reflect these projectiles? Do I have to use my Halloween shield? Oh, there we go. I'm kind of curious what a few of these guys sell. So you take your nuts. What does this one sell us? Red potion. That's eh, better. Oh. I guess I'm buying one. Okay. Cool. Wasn't trying to, but alright. Arrows. Oh. Why? I'm hitting B to disconfirm. Uh, bombs? No. At least a potion might help me. And a green potion. So if you need to buy stuff, you can come here. So that that's actually kind of cool. I never knew about that. Guess you learn something new every day. Alright, so back to this. We have six barriers to take down. So same as before. What order we want to do them in is in our story. We started with a shadow barrier last time, so you know what, let's start with it again. Or did we start with a shadow barrier? I don't know. I just remember the shadow barrier usually being the best one to start with, considering in the original game, this is where you got the golden gauntlets. Oh, no, equip the arrows. Link, you fool. Alright, silver rupees. Since so it's the shadow temple... I need the lens of truth. Okay, that's a bit far off. There's a bomb here. Don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. So, how do? Do we need the hover boots? I might as well re equip the mirror shield while I'm at it. Do we need to get a super fast rank start? I guess that's what you have to do. We're going with it. That's actually kind of mean. Alright. This platform moves diagonally. That's just great. There's a bomb flower here, which is good because Bemos are up ahead. I could see. So in case you don't have bombs of your own, which you really should. Alright. Oh, hey, we don't even need to fight the Bemos. Oh, but how do I get across? Do I need another running start? I mean, alright. 
Well, works just as well. Oh yeah, guillotines. That's what I wanted to see in this messed up place. Also, why am I going this way? I need to go get the air silver rupee. Oh, wait. That's a thing. First, let's get rid of these Beemoses. Alright. That is an eye switch down there. What does that do? I'm gonna want more bombs as well. Uh-oh. Don't fall off, Link. Because then the whole room restarts. Treasure chest. What does this get me? So this is where we got the golden gauntlets. I don't think it's here anymore. Small key. Okay. I guess we might need that later. Alright. Now, to follow this path. Get the last silver rupee. Well, second to last. But the last one's right in the way of where we are. we're going to be going. So... It's right across. Whoa, oh, 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 no, 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 Link, what are you doing? Okay, run across. Oh, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, good. I actually made it across safely. Thank God. Well, we have a small key now. So I guess that I put some more aspects into this, more than just what order do we do these in, but which ones also have keys, because we might need this key to take down another barrier. That's kind of interesting, but also kind of evil. Or maybe it's clever, because this is where most people would start with, so that they could get the the Golden Gauntlets first. And maybe they'll assume, oh, maybe Master Quest has the Golden Gauntlets in the Shadow Barrier. Nope. It's not there. But at least we've taken down one barrier of the six. Five more to go. And I've debated... Whether or not I'm going to go through the Gans Tower part, I think I will. I don't see why not. Alright. Great. Remember that red potion I actually accidentally bought? I think I'm going to have to use it because I never bothered to get another empty bottle. So what do we have here? We've got a bunch of red ice. Got a Freezard. A few of them at that, so let's get rid of them. We also have a, a dead hand in the corner. Yeah, that's what I thought. So hit and switch, but dead hand over here. Wants to. Oh, come on! Okay, there. Dead hand's gone. For how long? Who knows. Well, let's get ourselves some blue fire now. There's probably not. I think there's a treasure chest encased in the ice, but I don't think there's gonna be anything too important in there, so why bother? Hmm. There is a locked door, though, so. Yeah. I think we should at least go just... You jerk! Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get the thing, get the thing! Okay, we got the thing. Better safe than sorry. I don't want to have to find out that this is a small key later on. Well, game? Red Ruby. Okay. Well, at least that suspicion's been cleared. Uh, more silver rupees. What do we have to do now? Well, I see a silver rupee hanging off the edge, and I don't like it. Oh, are there hidden enemies here, too, as well? God dang it. And that really is a silver rupee. I was just... Oh, uh, oh, I hate keys. Die. Let me just... Don't tell me this is what you're having me do, game. Trying to jump at a specific enough angle. Well, I did it. Don't know if that's what they were actually intending for you to do or not. Also, 
I need more red ice, don't I? Or blue fire, not red ice. Red ice is what I need to melt because of blue fire. Silly me. But I don't see any place where we can get some blue fire, so looks like this is what we need to do. Let's get in our bottle of blue fire. I'm still wondering how that works. I guess it's not too important. Let's hopefully not accidentally use it. Oh, and all the friggin' rupees come back. Even better. Let's get this one out of the way for... My god, Keys. Okay, let's get that one out of the way first, because that's a very annoying one. Let's get this one next. You can tell I'm not thrilled, huh? Um, let's look around. Because there's a... S ah! Don't tell me... I swear to God, if I end up needing two empty bottles, I'm not going to be happy. Another silver rupee. There's one here. I don't know, maybe it's... I only need to collect all the silver rupees once, and then they stay collected. Alright. Let's hope that's what it is. Alright, keys are now gone, so let's look at this puzzle. We need to get an ice block over there. How, though? Oh, I already... Oh, no, you don't, Link. I already see how. And it's actually very easy. So we do that. We push this. Push it here. And then push it here. Now, here's hoping that once we get all the silver rupees, they all stay collected. I think that might be what it does. If not, that's really stupid, and I'm going to go find another empty bottle, which I really don't want to have to do. But the game might require me to do that, which is dumb. We have all the silver rupees. So let's go back and get some more blue fire, because we can't get to the door. No, 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 no. And then I'm going to get grabbed again, probably. Oh, no, I didn't. Sweet. Blue fire. All right. Moment of truth, unless this is the way back. Okay, no. Okay, good. All the silver rupees seem to stay collected. Cool. I'm really glad about that. Oh, fire! Uh, no, no. I just got comboed by some bats. That's the best thing to get comboed by, right? Enough about me being salty, though. Let's melt the ice. And dispel our second barrier. It's two barriers down, four to go. So, which barrier do we dispel next? Well, we seem to be going in a sort of pattern, so I guess continue with the pattern. So what's next then? Looks like the forest barrier. And that's after that's gonna leave spirit, fire, and light. Stealthos! Hey buddy, how's it going? You wanna get over here? I wanna stab you a lot. I hear something blowing. Oh, it's a fan. I bet I know why. But first. Stalfos. Alright. Both Stalfoses are gone. The door is open. But, there is a key up there. And just to make sure I don't get blown away by the fan. Iron boots. Um, 
gonna let me? All right. Small key. Just put on the Kokiri boots once again. And next room. Oh boy. Ugh. This does not look fun. So what are we supposed to do then? That is the million dollar question. Well, we have a bunch of Beamoses. That much I can definitely see. There's an eye switch there. Which I could shoot with fire, but I gotta be original. Because that's gonna activate the eye switch. Chest appears. Okay. Um. I want to say there's nothing important in that chest, but. Oh god! Stop locking onto these things, and I'm getting a call on Skype. That person's gonna have to wait. And or I will message him later. Okay, come on! Okay, Bemos, gone. What about this? Ugh. Okay, another Bemos gone. Let's just start taking down these Bemos sites. Bemoses, Bemoslide. Not important. Why am I bothering trying to understand English? Let's try to take. You know what? No. We should just hookshot over to where we need to be. Because I'm going to guess that's an Armos. So I don't want to even bother. Well, have fun, Link. Okay, it's just bombs. So, let's... Freaking Beemos! Alright, we took care of the Beemos. And if this puzzle is what I think it is, it's really dumb. I'm willing to bet on top of that time block... I'm willing to bet it's a crate. Oh, really, game? You're not gonna give it to me. What about from here? Or do I have to be on that platform right nearby? Please don't let me... I have to be on that platform. Okay, let's let this fan do another cycle before we go over there because... Otherwise, I might find myself in a bad spot. Okay, stopped. Okay, we're on the platform, so now... Iron Boots. Will the thing activate from here? Please tell me it will. Thank God. We're gonna have to play the Song of Time a few times. It's a crate up there, right? Armos works all the same. Yep, sure enough. I might try to message him during the recording, because, of course, that's a good idea, obviously. No. I'll, if I cut away, then I'll message him then. So, sorry, dude. Except you probably don't know that you called me during the recording, so... No harm on you. Well, that's three barriers dispelled. Force barriers dispelled. Yada, yada, yada. So on and so forth. Another barrier gone. That just leaves three more. Let's go to the. Since we're right here, let's go to the spirit barrier next. And I'm gonna take off those hover boots. I want to have traction. I also want more health. That would also be great. So. You're not. Oh no! No! Hate the keys! At least they're giving me some health. So what do we need to do? Oh. I bet I know where this is going. We got a somewhere puzzle in the Shadow Temple. Shoot the closed eye. 
Yep. Does that open the door? Ah, oh, that is rude. Actually, I'm curious about something. This is just a random thing I'm curious about. Is there a... No! That iron knuckle literally came out of nowhere. Great. Oh, well, at least it doesn't activate until you give it a swing of the sword. Uh oh, bad idea! I got greedy. What I should do is lure him over to this, because it's probably going to drop a lot of health. Oh, yeah, that is... That is Valentine's Day, Captain Falcon. And thank God I did that, because... I think the solution of this room is not actually to kill all the enemies, but just to lure the Iron Knuckle into the thing. So that way you can use your Megaton Hammer. Alright. So I don't think killing all the enemies is going to open the door, but yep, that does. Killing all the enemies doesn't even make a treasure chest. Worth it? Eh, debatable. In this treasure chest, we have bomb shoes because that is a switch there. We're gonna need bomb shoes to hit it. Is a bomb shoe like that gonna work? Oh, almost. Just wait a like a second, and that should do it. Okay. Now we can move on. What do we have next? We have Gibdos. Oh no. I'm gonna... Yep. Alright. At least the Gibdos dead. What do we have in here? Oh, a lot of Redads I just noticed. Thank you, lighting of the... Of the game. Okay. Up here, cobweb, so we need our fire arrows. And obviously, we need the mirror shield. Because this is a Majora's Mask where we can just shoot the suns with... Yeah, the thing. Alright, treasure chests. Oh, I remember the solution to this puzzle, actually, and the solution's dumb. So we'll start with the suns. See what each of them do. Treasure chest. Oh, well, that one contains a small key. I had a second one. That one does nothing. We have another treasure chest. With another recovery heart. I'm expecting one of these to treasure chests to freeze me. Um, stand back a bit more. That's a wall master. Let's take care of him first. Die. And this one makes a treasure chest appear. But what would be in this treasure chest? It's a large chest. I think you know where this is going. We got the golden gauntlets. So that's where the golden gauntlets are in the, this game. But we've hit all the sun panels, yet we still have not seen where the exit is. Look, look carefully above this door. Yep, that's where the right switch is hidden. It's hidden behind the door. Kind of a, it's kind of clever, but also really stupid. Oh. Gray, I'm getting thing a video from him. Probably explaining something. I hope I don't need to read it immediately, or that it starts reading itself on camera. That'd be that'd be kind of dumb. <laughs> My life is so hard. I have to manage recording and Skype calls. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna joke about that. Um. So the spirit barrier is gone. Leaves the uh, light barrier and the fire barrier. We'll start with the light barrier, then go on to the fire barrier, and then Gan's tower. We'll see if any that's changed, and if anything, it makes for a good formality. Kaboom! Oh, 
Okay. So, the light barrier seems to be just as it was before. But, Dinofuls want you to die. And then we have these things. Come on, stab the thing. Okay. Well, at least this puzzle answer is a bit simpler than I thought it would be. Have a locked door. Uh, does all this lullaby want to do anything? I hope it does something useful. Treasure chest, as expected. Is it a key? No. But that's okay because we have a key of our own. And then before it. Ah, fire! There, uh, yeah, there's a hookshot target up there. I don't care. I'm getting out of here. Ow! Get me out of here. There's a Skawalchula on the wall, on the torch there. But the door seems like, it seems like it's a dead end, unlike last time. Guess what? I bet. Yeah. It's a hidden switch. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? All right, one more barrier to go, the fire barrier. So that's going to be great. It's hard to believe that we're already near the end of Master Quest. Like, I know it was only 13 episodes of Master Quest specifically, but it still feels kind of weird. And, or maybe I am eager to just get on to recording the next Let's Play. I mean, I wouldn't put it past me. In fact, that's probably the case. So hot in here, we can't stay here for long. Thank you, Navi. Let's put on that Goron tunic. We have a collect the five silver rupees, and it is very, very joyous. And by very, very joyous, I mean, look at this nonsense. Whoa! Okay, that... Oh, great. You're gonna make me... Do that, huh? Ah, not the worst thing in the world. Where do we go from here? Oh, we... Whoa! Um, thanks, game. Appreciative of it. Can we hookshot over here? We probably need a... Oh, we need to react super fast. That's what we need to do. Wow, that was dumb. Let's be patient this time. Patience is usually good. It really explains a lot about me, huh? Alright. I feel like we can jump to that platform. It's just not easy. You know what? Uh, no, I'm not... Ah, dang it. This is going to take a few tries, isn't it? I'll take a few more tries on camera, and then I'll just cut to the successful attempt, because this barrier might take some time. So let's... Yeah, I'll just make this the last attempt. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right, well, at least that mystery's been solved. So you can jump to the thing, and I guess we'll give this attempt to try as well. Because now we've solved the mystery. The ever wondrous mystery. That is... great. So what is this going to do for us? Just the silver rupee? I'm sure that's just the silver rupee. Get, get the thing. Okay. So we have that silver rupee. So, and we can see the other three silver rupees. Oh god. Oh, okay, that sends me upwards. Great. 
We still have to worry about this sinking into the lava while I try to hookshot that thing. Cool. Let's get that silver rupee. If I missed that jump, I would have been so sad. I would have been very sad. Both of you can die. Well, one of them died. And the other one died. Have another statue to move. Or pillar. Whatever you might want to call it. This is probably going to give us access to that last silver, silver rupee. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. So let's hookshot back over. Very carefully. Alright. Do we jump from here? We do not jump from there. We're back to the start. Alright, I'll be right back. There we go. That actually took quite a few attempts. I ended up going back to get some fairies. Okay. Last barrier. Thank God. So now we can climb Gans Tower. See if anything has changed there. I doubt it, but we can at least see, right? And I can finally give my closing statements on Master Quest during our climb. And barrier is destroyed. Alright. Let's move. And let's put on the, our, our classic green tunic. That's... There we go. So, on our way there, closing statements on Master Quest. Uh, inside the Deku Tree, I think was a good start for Master Quest, where it's like, some things have changed, but a lot of it's still the same, like you still go through it the same way, and there's only a few changes. The Dawn Ghost Karen steps it up a bit with how you have to take a completely dif different route through the whole dungeon. Jabu Jabu's Belly introduced the whole uh, having some switch you wouldn't expect because you had to shoot cows for some reason. Uh, Jabu Jabu's Belly, oh, yeah, that's what I just talked about. I, I keep track of stuff. Forest Temple, I'd say it was a pretty good change. That, the well section, I was kind of aggravated with considering how long it took me to find that. So that was annoying. Fire Temple, ugh. Fire Temple was kind of sketchy with that, and I've heard some recommendations of get Din's Fire, or not Din's Fire, the Fire Rose first before taking on the Fire Temple, which I didn't do, and I still don't have that much of a problem once I got the double magic. So, that was a thing. War Temple, a lot of people say that was the one dungeon mesh quest that they made easier. Save for the Darkling fight, I can agree with that. Because for I don't know why the Darkling fight gave me so much trouble. It, it just did. Shadow Temple. Shadow Temple didn't really have that much that was... Well, it had that one BS puzzle where you had to shoot the eye that was closed to continue onward. That was a pretty dumb puzzle. Uh, Spirit Temple had... Let's see, what did Spirit Temple really have? Well, I had my least favorite room in the game, so that was something. But other than that, Spirit Temple, well, I was kind of okay with, minus the whole treasure chest thing where it's like you hit the treasure chest and uh, it doubles as a switch. That was kind of stupid. Um, Ice Cavern, since now we'll talk about side dungeons. Uh, Ice Cavern, I thought was pretty okay. The one room with the heart piece and the gold sculpture was kind of clever. Uh, let's see. Bomb of the Well. Bomb of the Well was really weird. Because that was like a. Uh, I remember seeing one video where he describes like a paradox when it came to trying to find the lens of truth. Which, eh, kind of makes sense. If you don't know where you're going, it can be difficult. But then again, that's also kind of the basis of the Bomb of the Well as well as the Shadow Temple. Anyway, whoops. 
Uh, Gerudo Training Ground. It was weird not having to get that many keys compared to the original Gerudo Training Ground. And the uh, Ice Arrows was in a different location, which was also weird. But I was kind of okay with that. And finally, Ganon's Castle. I think it had a fair amount of change. Not a super large amount, but also not like, the most change ever. And I guess that about does it. We have covered all of Master Quest. So, I think this is where this side series ends. I've been Okami of Games, and I'll see you guys in another Let's Play.